like this. Uh, this is basically the same thing as the wooden egg. And it's about the same size. And it's pretty much just going to go inside and act as a, uh, as a heat resistant core and to hold the whole thing in place. So, put it in there. I don't think it's going to need anything to really keep it in place at all. But, um, yeah. But, we'll see. I may clip some wire just to be safe. But maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I'm going to do it. Just like a few pieces of wire to connect both halves. Looks like one long one right now, but... I'll section it off and just do it. I don't know if you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Just clipped off a piece of wire right there. Alright. Wire. I'm going to clip it. If I can clip it into four, maybe two sections, I don't know, three, perhaps. Mm. Oh, I did it. Two. see if that'll work because it's really just to connect and hold both halves together yeah if it'll work I hope it does smooth the scene together. I need a shoe. Yeah, look at that. Let's smooth this in a weird way. I'm going to close it. feature so this could go a little bit faster but uh, I'm just happy that I'm finally able to get a video out to you guys I'm going to try not to neglect the time that I have because I do actually have a lot of free time on my hands right now and actually get back into it because um, I don't know it could work out in the end
other shape now. I'm actually going to bore a small little hole in the bottom. I need the air to be able to escape through this when it's in the oven. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Raise the camera up a bit. Sorry, I never did show you guys my little setup. I'll show it to you eventually. I'm trying not to take too long with this one. See, because I think if you leave the, uh, the air trapped inside, it runs the risk of uh, exploding on you if you've ever worked with any kind of clay at all, ceramic, polymer. I'm pretty sure there needs to be some kind of uh, escape route for the air, for the hot air inside. Because I don't want this thing to blow up on me in the oven. It would suck if this comes out looking really nice and then uh, it just, just blows. is going to have two faces on each side. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And two little pieces of clay that I'm going to use for the faces. Uh, as I mentioned in my first video, it's going to be a bit of an abstract art piece, so yeah, hence the uh, two faces. Determined for this to be the forehead and the chin, yeah. a human face before, so I'm just going to wing it and do the best I can. I don't want it to look too fancy. Like I said, it's meant to be more abstract than anything else. But I do want it to look good. Try not to let it look too anime-ish. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think I can sculpt that. It's roughly one shape, more or less. So I'm still learning a lot myself in... Uh, when it comes to sculpting and things of that sort. A lot of things that I'm still trying to pick up along the way from watching other people sculpt from learning from video tutorials and things of that nature. 
because up until this point, most I've done in terms of clay is pottery and all that pottery was stuff I did back in middle school and high school and all that. So that's not what I would call like a very solid foundation for any form of a, you know, human sculpture. Or any form of, uh, you know, human figures. Sorry, that's what I should have said. Guess I'm roughly gonna make a little line just where the eyes are and whatnot. Should be roughly where the mouth needs to be. Yeah, more or less. And now, damn it. The way to begin, not well by subtracting, but more pressing the uh, pressing matter is maybe I should have subtracted instead I'm not an expert sculptor, but I'm giving it my best here. It's going to roughly look like a human face. And I don't really have any examples here now that I think about it. Two things that I like to drink while I'm working. That's either a cup of tea or some mineral water. Specifically, La Croix.
here on Ripley. You got the shape of a nose. I hope to be able to make more uh, human sculptures that go along, because um, that's one thing that I've always wanted to get better at is sculpting people and I haven't really had much much time to do that because in reality like any any form of sculpture work really takes a very very long time it can take up to a week a couple of days depending on how much time you're really given um, to work on it if you're, in a, if you're in a class, or if you're just doing it for fun. If you're doing it for fun, it's less stressful to give yourself timelines. But I guess if you're up for the challenge, I do advise you to maybe give yourself a sort of due date and to see what you can do in that time. I'm not a teacher, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a professional sculptor. But, um, uh, I guess I am what you could consider an artist. <laughs> so, if you're of the sort that likes to take a challenge, then, yeah, I advise you to, um, to challenge yourself. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a deadline to do something. If you are a sculptor, if you're an artist of any sort, really, whether that's in painting or, um, or drawing, or even a digital artist, you know, you could try giving yourself a little bit of a deadline, just a little bit of a challenge to try and better improve your uh, level of productivity. That's always an option. I don't know how I'm doing with this, really. It kind of, kind of looks like a face. Not really. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it does look like a face a little bit. Far from perfect. It's not really meant to be perfect. Because I've had an idea for this thing for a really, really long time now. And I was just going to do it like, on my own. Outside of YouTube. I wasn't going to make a video. I was just going to take process photos. Um, but then I kind of thought, well, I haven't really made a YouTube video in a you know, a very, very long time. So I might as well just make a video of how I made this thing, or about making this thing. Um, subscribers are still around because um, I know a lot of my subscriber counts like my subscriber count actually dropped at that time when I wasn't making videos that's understandable completely because I know I wasn't making anything so there wasn't really anything for people to keep up with on my channel like I don't know how many of you guys are still around um, if you guys are still around I just want to say thank you so, so much for sticking around, um, you know, and thanks for having patience with me. That means a lot, because a lot of stuff has actually been happening that's, uh, that always roughly gets in the way of whenever I try to, of whenever I want to, like, do more stuff on here. But, uh, yeah. So, fair warning, this video is probably going to be a little bit of a long one. I probably should have told you that at the beginning of the video. Um, but I would suggest if you're going to sit down and watch it, take some time to, like, sit down and watch it, because this one's going to take a while. I'm going to see... It's already at 23 minutes. 
I want to see what I can do in 30 minutes, roughly. upper lip, or maybe a mouth. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But it's part of the face, so we're good. things or something. I really didn't want this one to be a multi-parter. It's not that I don't like making multi-parters, but I know that uh, sometimes they can be very difficult to keep up with. For some people, I don't know. Sculpt this by hand would be very, very difficult. Hmm. Um, I definitely need to watch more tutorials on how to sculpt human faces because this is not very good. <laughs> It, lo it looks like a human face, that's for sure. Not, not a very, not a very good one though. Yeah. Damn it. I messed that up entirely, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. I should have just tried to make a much more simplified face. I'm not very good at sculpting human faces. Gosh, 
don't know how some people make this look so easy. Then again, they probably had like years upon years of practice. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just take time to practice all this. This is not easy. I don't know. It roughly looks like a human form. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and cut it off here because this is getting to be about 30 minutes long and it's going to take forever for this thing to upload. But uh, I know I promised I wouldn't skip too much outside of it. But I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this little face. And if, it, uh, if it's not too late by the time this video goes up, I'll try and film the uh, second part tonight. Alright. See you guys in a bit.